been here for about four years, since 2008. Space is in my blood. Uh, my grandfather is a rocket scientist, and uh, he worked for Thaikal. Uh, I've always grown up near an airport, and so there's always been planes flying around. And so I can't remember a time where I wasn't building uh, Lego rockets or Lego spacecraft or uh, model airplanes. So the theme of our work is enabling bold flight to the extremes. Uh, we build small spacecraft. We've got three on orbit right now. And the goal is to push the state of the art uh, in technology for flying these satellites. Currently we build small ones that can be extended to large ones. We just proposed a mission uh, to go to the moon and beyond. And uh, the goal is to figure out how to fly better and further in space. So the goals are pretty high. Uh, it's not just a homework problem. Uh, most of the questions that I ask we don't have solutions for, so we have to figure it out. And students here have built three satellites, and all three are in orbit. So right now we've got three more that we're building. Uh, we're building one for the National Science Foundation. Uh, we built the NSF's first spacecraft uh, called RAX, the Radio Aurora Explorer. And uh, we're building another one called Cadre. Uh, and all these will be uh, observing space weather phenomena. We built a couple for NASA and uh, JPL. Uh, so the output of this work, uh, the output of the students' effort, is something that flies in space. And uh, that, that takes a lot of work. That takes a lot of effort. Uh, you can't really uh, erase your mistakes uh, once they're on the rocket. You can't go up and, and fix them. So students here are taking their, their academic work, uh, their theoretical work, combining it with the very practical side. Uh, we've got our students that are building uh, circuit boards for flight computers, uh, writing flight software, building attitude determination and control systems. So it's easy for them to be motivated. If you take a look at space, all you have to do is look at the stars, uh, look at the moon. Uh, last night I was sitting on my porch watching the full moon rise on a perfect June uh, evening here in, uh, in Ann Arbor. And it's very easy to, to, be, to be motivated, uh, especially when your hardware ends up in space. Uh, some of the questions we asked in the past are, you know, are there any messages for students? Uh, well, a message here for the students working in my lab um, is to take an idea, create it, and, and give it life. Uh, we've seen with the internet how students can change the world. Uh, Yahoo started it, uh, in a small cubicle at Stanford. Uh, Google, uh, same kind of thing. Uh, we're trying to do that here in space. Uh, give students the opportunity to explore, uh, to, to venture out, to transform how we do the space world. And Michigan's a great place for that. Strong engineering all across the board, coupled with good space science across the streets. And, uh, our engineers are going out and transforming how we do space here uh, and in the rest of the world.